Well, early he was terrific. Just happened in, in a hurry there. Um, you know, the pitch Cano maybe looks like it deflated him a little bit. I know he's trying to bounce it right there. Um, but early on, I mean, I don't know how you pitch much better than that. Bob, you spoke before the game that Reddick got enough at-bats in simulated game, minor league appearances, et cetera. Did he get enough time on defense? He, he didn't look uh, like he normally does out there. You know what? I, the defensive part, you know, I, we, we don't worry about at all. I mean, it's uh, very unusual for him not to catch that ball. Now, it's a sink and liner. It's not a you know slam dunk easy play. But for him, it's a play he makes most of the time. But I don't think that that's not the part we were worried about. I think he could go out there in December and still play defense. Uh, tough one here today. How do you guys bounce back? For another ball game tomorrow. <laughs> it's baseball. You move on. We're going to a new city. You start over again. I mean, we we lost a tough one yesterday, and you know came back today and had some really good at bats off Felix, as good as at bats as I've seen us have in a while. You know, got him out of the game, didn't get the lead. Now all of a sudden we put four runs up against their closer. I I don't think it's going to bother him. It's certainly it's it's tough, and you have to let it go. But uh, you know, in baseball, you're going to have a few of these over the course of the season. Was there ever a point where you decided, you considered uh, pinch running for Billy Butler? Uh, which which situation? Uh, if you came up in the last inning, or if he was a tying or go ahead run, yeah. But I'm not going to do it in the middle innings.